Hello everyone and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Born Into Fear and if you'd like to play it for yourselves, the links and the details are down below in the description. That's kind of creepy. So this is going to be a first person non-linear horror game where I'm going to be sent into a residential neighborhood to deal with a series of strange threats and I think those threats just looked at me through my windows there. Either way, looks interesting and I hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments. But here we go, we're starting a new game of Born Into Fear. Let's go. Alright, here we are. This is it, Agent. After you read your briefing, head to the neighborhood and destroy Sally. Keep your head on straight and I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay, so it looks like I'm part of Operation Covert Genesis, where it looks like I need to investigate the neighborhood for a way to destroy the barrier protecting house 117. And then there's these various houses that may be key in destroying the barrier. And then I need to destroy any evidence of Aegis's involvement. Okay. Eliminate Sally. Alright, there's a caution letter. Let's take a look. Unfortunately, the neighborhood has become much more dangerous since your last visit. Surveillance of North Hollow Heights has shown new variants of Sally roaming the suburb. We've yet to see these new variants in action, so we can only theorize about their abilities. Attached are a few of the photos we've managed to capture regarding these new Sally forms. These ones here? Okay. Right, so that's Sally, is it? And this is Sally too? That's an interesting look you got there, Sally. This one? Right, I think I saw you at the window a minute ago. <laughs> Alright, there's a letter over here too. Agent J. Great work yesterday, Agent. With the intel we've gathered thanks to your actions, we've concocted a plan to deal with the buffer known as Sally. Buffers. Right! This is brought to us by the same company that brought us Test of Courage, another game that I played on the channel a year or so ago. Actually quite a good game, with an interesting backstory for these things called buffers. They're creatures that sort of spawn out of tragedy. Anyway, you're being sent into the area again, but this time you'll be striking for the source of the buffer's power, House 117. As far as we can tell, Sally has claimed this home as her base of operations. However, it won't be just as simple as walking up to the house. Odds are likely that Sally has enacted some sort of protection to guard against intruders. With our limited understanding of her powers, we suggest you investigate some of the houses in the area for a means to destroy the barrier. We've detected her presence at these houses, 102, 106, 107, 111... 112, 113, and 116. Searching them may yield a solution to 117's barrier. Okay. And it looks like this is how I save, yeah? Okay. What about this stuff? No? Oh yeah! Uh, the Lake Ridge paper, and there's a note as well. Let's take a look at the notes. If you ever want to see your mother again, join Aegis. Make it through the training and earn their trust. When you hear the name North Hollow Heights, You'll know it's time. Well, that's the neighborhood that I'm going to be going into, right? Remembering Lake Ridge. It's been eight years to the day since the tragedy of Lake Ridge. To my readers who are too young to remember it, the Lake Ridge incident was an attack on the aforementioned town by the creatures known as Buffers. Dozens of the monsters descended onto the town one night and slaughtered its people within hours. Few managed to escape. The chaos wasn't limited to the town itself, however. The nearby prison, Lake Ridge Prison, was also brutally assaulted by these strange creatures and reduced to rubble. The prison reported a near 100% fatality rate for its prisoners after evacuation was complete. For weeks, the town was considered uninhabitable and was cordoned off by the government until Aegis arrived. Aegis was an up-and-coming group at the time dedicated to the eradication of anything buffer. The brave people of Aegis created weapons to destroy the creatures and reclaim the town of Lake Ridge for the people of America. For that, we owe them our thanks to this day. We can only hope another tragedy on this scale never happens again. Now I'm wondering, in Test of Courage, was it Lake Ridge School we were in? Maybe. I don't know, it's been quite a long time. Right, okay. The sedan? Are we getting out of here? Let's get out of here. Let's get to this neighborhood. Let's, let's complete the mission. That really is a wonderful loading screen, isn't it? <laughs> so which variation of Sally's that? All right. Here we are. Remember, Agent, you won't be able to access the creature's lair to destroy it until you search through the houses marked in your reason. Right. So let's see. Looks like we got a flashlight. Okay. There's 102 there, which I think is one of the ones that we want to have a look at. 
And this one, 101? Right, okay, well... Knock, knock. Anyone in? It doesn't look like it, does it? Okay, uh, so I've got a journal. There you go, alright. So, yeah, 102, 106, 107, 110, 111, 113, 116. They're the ones that I need to go into. I could explore other homes, though, like I'm doing right now. Uh, so this is the Jefferson family home. Agent Blue's notes from the operation tell me that a family of three lived here. There might be something I overlooked my first night here. Otherwise, this house is non-essential. Okay. Um, okay. A few basic controls. Oh, hang on. All right, so M for the map. All right. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, yeah, there's quite a few houses to have a look at, isn't there? But what was it about... Q&E? Oh, nice! Oh, yeah, I can see that down there in the bottom left. All right, so this just illuminates the area. And we got the normal beam and a narrow beam. Oh, I love that. That's great. Let's go with this, shall we? Right. Let's have a little look around. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. What a start. <laughs> I like this game already. What the fuck was that? Was that another variation of Sally? That opened by itself, didn't it? Okay. Anything down the toilet? No. Right. What was that? Can I use this? Oh, all right. Hey, we got some functionality. This is already looking like a good game. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. Uh, well, there's a letter in here. Looks like no one found this before. Remember the day I proposed to you in Paris? The city was buzzing with life and the view from the Eiffel Tower was to die for. You made me the happiest man alive when you said yes. These years we've spent together have been more than I ever could have wished for. I love you. Ah, and a nice little Eiffel Tower by the bed. All right. Okay, well, I guess, yeah, that's kind of the stuff that we're looking for, right? So, where did the buffer go? Through here? <laughs> Let's have a look through here first, then maybe I'll get a snack. All right. That one's locked up. Here. Origami? Okay. All right. So I've got some origami. I don't know what for. I guess that goes in my inventory. Or maybe it doesn't. All right. Never mind. Hey, oh, jeez. <laughs> yep, that's Sally, all right. Okay, so. Is it time for a snack? Waffles? No? Maybe let's go upstairs. The completionist in me wants to investigate all of these houses, even if we don't need to. So, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do in this video. Hopefully you don't mind. Alright. A child's bird drawing. Okay. Alright. Well, it looks like the bird's gone. Just like them. Hmm. Okay. Anything back here? Oh, there's a chair. Hmm. Alright. Bit mysterious. And looks like we can't go in there. Um, okay. Right. Well, it looks like that's all I'm going to see in house 101. But we should go across the road to 102, shouldn't we? Before I get killed. <laughs> Alright. Good stuff. Okay, so this is one of the essential ones. 102. Is it also going to be unlocked? Okay. You don't oh, she... Put all my white balls back in your cases. Or, you're going to lose your phone for the next week. Oh, <laughs> and while you're at it, put the chairs back to you. Yeah, Alright, Mum. <laughs> yeah, I know that's a chair. Oh, okay. Well, I need to put this back, don't I? Where do I put it? Oh, okay. Over there. Oh, alright. Uh, down here? Over there, apparently, right. There's a, a white bottle as well, right. So we're just doing chores? Right. What have we got here? Find and return wine bottles, right, yeah. Eight wine bottles and four more chairs? And that's one of those saving locations, isn't it? That's right. Okay, so another wine bottle. Let's just go around and see what we can collect, and then I'll see if I can move the chairs around. Although this one's so close. There you go. Uh... Really? Ooh. My life is hard enough without you leaving any more shit to clean. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, probably shouldn't piss these Sallies off too much, right? 
I was thinking maybe I should just put that away, you know, tidy up a bit, but I've actually made a bit of a mess. Okay, hang on. Ah, I see, okay, it looks like there's uh, hmm, plenty more wine bottles to find. There's another one. Okay. <laughs> God, this is weird. This is very weird. But I'm liking it already. Okay. Um, through here? But, all right. What's that? Well, that's a wine bottle, but what's this? This is Dr. Caleb, apparently, and I can talk to him. Okay. Oh, great. It's one of the murderers, he says. What the hell? I've never killed anyone. Bullshit. You might not have pulled the trigger, Aegis goon, but you killed me, sure enough. It's bad enough I had to deal with you while I was alive, but do you have to hound me in death, too? Look, I'm sorry about what happened to you, but Aegis needs the power to protect the world. Wait, how are you here if you're dead? Shouldn't you, I don't know, be in the afterlife or something? I'm not sure how this works either. My daughters both died that night along with me, but I can't sense them anywhere. There's no way I'm leaving this place until I know how to find them. Well, is there any way I can help? I think there might be. In our house, number 102 on the street, which is this house, there's a book in the kids' room. I read it to my daughters every night for months after their mother died. Work eventually caught up to me and I never found the time to read to them again. If you could find that book and bring it back to me, it might lead me to my kids. Please. I need to find them. Alright, um... Yeah, I've got a lot to do tonight by the sounds of it, but... You no, know, you know what? I, I want to help you. Yeah. We're dealing with restless spirits as well, by the looks of it. Okay. Alright, so there's a book. There's a book somewhere around here in the kids' room. Okay, and we're still looking for, you know, chairs that are out of place and wine bottles. And en suites. There we go. Nothing down there? No? Alright. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, alright, okay, yeah. Uh, I keep making wrong moves, it feels like. Okay, we got another chair. Oh, this this is the one that goes down uh, in the kitchen, right? There you go. I'm just going to move that down there. Are you happy now, Sally? <laughs> okay, uh, three more to go. Three more to go and one more chair to find. Right, let's go back up here. All right. Not this one. No. Okay. Looks like we can go up yet again. Ideally, I'm trying to find the kids' room. All right. Okay, there's another wine bottle. Can't have a look at that. Uh, through here? Okay. I'm just waiting for Sally to pop up again, to be honest. Ah, there you go. There's the chair. Right, so if we just move this... There? Nice! Okay, now I think it's just the wine bottles that we need to deal with. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, there's a hidden note down here. I hate, hate, hate that bitch! If she ever threatens Olivia again, she'll regret it. I miss Mom. Ah. Oh. Right. Is this it? Daughter's favorite book. That's what he was talking about, right? Okay. I, yeah, I, I guess I could bring that back to him. Okay, yeah. Let's do that. I'm being a good Samaritan in this game. I'm going above and beyond. Uh, so, do I just leave it on the bed? Help the others too, please. There's others too. And of course there's others. Well, looking at the map... There's quite a few houses to go in, isn't there? So, right. Okay, so 103, 104, they're non-essential. Right, so it tells me on the map which ones are essential and which ones are optional. But it looks like, well, aside from 103, 104, and 101, there might be something to do in all of them, actually. Okay, I'm digging this, actually. I, I quite like this. Okay, so let's see. Uh, around here? Any- yep, there's wine in the bathroom. Of course there is. Oh. Oh, we got a basement as well, by the looks of it. Alright. Locked up. Oh, alright. What else we got? Yeah, another wine bottle. I think that's us. I think I found all eight. 
don't think I want to use the punching bag right now, but uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can fill that cabinet up. There you go. All right, so the journal's updated, and according to this, oh, you actually did it all. Maybe you grow up useful after all. Maybe I will. All right. So it seems like I don't need to be scared of Sally. Gold star. Okay, picked up a gold star. Fantastic. Um, this has actually been ticked off the list as well. Well, let's just go up the road and go to 103, 104 just to check them out. But yeah, I, I guess I'm going to be doing that in, in most of the houses. All right. So 103 or 104. Let's just try and do it in order, shall we? So... Right. I love the fact that you can change beams. That's fantastic. Right, so in here. Okay, I'm not surprised at the door this time. Can we go this way? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Hey, hang on. Sally! <laughs> I see you! A different version of Sally. But Sally nonetheless. What's that? Another bit of origami. Just adding it to my collection. That's locked too. Right. Okay. Oh, hello. I don't like the way that you're always looking at me. s and M. It's a good album. I understand why you love it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go this way. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, this might be non-essential. There might be nothing to do here as such, but I'm still getting some spooks out of it. Anything else? Agent Johnson's report? Okay. We've terminated one of the targets, but it looks like the other isn't home at the moment. We'll keep an eye out for her throughout the night as the operation proceeds. Either way, I don't think missing a target or two will affect our odds of success. Field Agent Johnson. Right. And there's a letter here, too. Hey, babe. I'm leaving you this note because I didn't want to interrupt your sleep. You looked so peaceful. I put that pizza from last night in the fridge, so you should have some leftovers to eat later. Don't have too much fun while I'm at my mum's, okay? Love you loads, and I'm missing you already. Okay. Looks like we can't check the fridge ourselves, but okay, alright. <laughs> we're really getting involved with these people's lives before they were... Well, taken care of, it seems like. Alright. So, we're moving on across the road to 104 now, yeah? I take it all of these houses are going to be open, aren't they? So what's it going to be in here? Can we turn the light on? No, of course that doesn't work. Okay. Uh, it looks like there's something over here. A mother's report. At exactly 8pm, the girl's mother was terminated, leaving just the father alive. I can say without a doubt that the father is in agony. Unable to do anything but watch the events occurring before him, he's nearing a mental breakdown. His pain will provide much to the operation. Field Agent Green. And I'm working for these guys? Right, okay. Yeah, I'm certainly feeling like a bad guy right now. More origami? Okay, what happens if I find all the origami pieces? Do I get another ending? I think there are actually meant to be different endings in this game. Yeah, it might be worth exploring. Uh, through here? Okay. Not much in here by the looks of it. Let's take a little gander around. Oh, we've got the stairs up. Let's save that floor for later. Anything? No. I haven't noticed a Sally here yet. Which is probably a good thing. Although it looks like there is yet another note. From Field Agent Green. 9pm. The father was eliminated. I believe we had collected everything we could from him. Their bodies were disposed of, and we're now moving to the next phase of the operation. If our mission fails, we'll have hell to pay. Right. So these people, I, I think they're... They're being given great agonies and pain and oh my fucking god! It's that Sally again, isn't it? Oh fucking hell, right, okay. You know what, maybe, maybe this would be a, a better flashlight beam to have most of the time. Where did it go? Outside? Upstairs? Let's go upstairs. Yep, 
yeah, the, the buffers, you know, they feed and they spawn from pain and agony, so I, I think that's what Aegis are trying to do. As outlined in the plan, we've terminated the girl in view of her parents at 3.35pm. The parents will be kept alive for a few more hours each and then exterminated as well. This should give us the best results for the operation. Yeah, the best results. The most pain caused. Fucking hell. Oh boy, right. Well, yeah, I'm going to do everything I can to, to help these people out. Jeez Louise. Right. Let's get out of here, shall we? We don't even need to be here. Okay, four down, like 40 to go. <laughs> uh, so... Oh. Is that a Sally? Just wandering around? I think so. I think there's one over there as well. And one over there. Right, where do we go? Uh, should we go to 105 next? Let's go to 105. Right. I... Uh, okay. Alright, this seems like a more hostile Sally. Not, you know, a mum that's gonna tell me off. No, this one's probably gonna kill me if she catches me, so... Right, okay, we're going round here. We're going round to the back garden. Uh, we go round and then... Oh, I, okay, right. Ah, okay, yep. Yeah. Is she still coming? Yep, she's definitely still coming. Right, let's hope that this door is open. 105, yeah, 105, come on. Go, 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 close the door, close the door. Another spirit. Miss Ava. Who are you, she says. Well, I'm Jay, an agent from Aegis. You've got to be shitting me. First you kill us, then you harass us? When will you let us be? <laughs> well, I actually came to see if I could help you move on. Move on? To what? The great big lie at the end of everything? I'm calling bullshit. I'm serious. I don't know what comes after this, but I plan to help you reach it if you'll let me. Okay. Maybe I believe you. Fine. If you want to help, throw out all of my deadbeat boyfriend's shit from the house. I was planning on dumping his sorry ass in a few days, but now I'll never get the chance to. I mean, fuck, who owns a katana? <laughs> get rid of what's left of that arsehole from my life, would ya? Deal. Alright. Okay, so yeah, seems like there is something to do in House 105. So, what does this stuff look like exactly? And should we save? Let's save. Oh, here we go. The dead beats trash. Yep. That's coming with me. There you go. Something over here as well. What about in here? Alright. Anything on the shelves? No? Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're just tidying up the place, aren't we, really? Oh, there you go. There's the katana. Shame I can't use that on the Sally's outside. Uh, <gasps> Jesus Christ! Speaking of which, hello again! It's you. It's S and M. So the ones outside are definitely a threat, but you're not. Or at least not right now. Um, okay, let's go upstairs. Let's see if there's more trash to throw out. <laughs> I've already had my fair share of jumps in this game, haven't I? More origami. There you go. There might be one in each house. I don't know. Okay. Uh, the deadbeat note. I found the money that bitch sent you. If you ever hide something from me again, I'll make sure you regret it. Wonderful. Right, I'm going to take your shoes, and we're going to read this. How are you doing, honey? It's been a while since we heard from you. You haven't answered our calls, and you never come visit us anymore. Baby, we're worried about you. I know you're in love with Michael, but I really don't think he's the right person for you. When was the last time that man even had a job? Just look out for yourself, okay? Starting with the money I sent with this letter. I want you to set aside some cash in case things go wrong. Please be safe. With love, Mum. Oh. So is... is the mum dead too? Maybe that's where the cash was hidden. Huh. Right. Nothing over here? No? Okay, right. Well, I, I think I've found everything. Um... Hey, uh... <laughs> so, uh, where do I put this exactly? Oh, the bin's outside, right, of course. With all the dangerous sallies. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, they don't appear to be in the area right now, which is good. Oh, there's one there. Right. The garbage bin. Okay, task completed. So, I just go and talk to her again? 
It's not enough for forgiveness, but it's a start. And away she goes. Okay, and I guess that's another one ticked off the list. All right, I think I'm doing the right thing here. I, I don't think I'm really following along with the company's plan exactly, but yeah, I'm in the right, morally at least. Uh, so yeah, 107, 110, let's, let's go around there, shall we? Okay, I'm going to slink around the back, I think. Yeah, might be better that way. Oh boy. Okay, there you go. I <laughs> gave you the slip. Fantastic. Oh boy, oh shit, okay. <laughs> that was close. Right. Whoa, oh! Can you get around to Also, clean that. Okay. <laughs> so, turn the lights off, clean dirt off the walls, more tidying up. What is this, house flipper? Man, okay, well I guess I want another golden star, don't I? Okay. A cleaning spray. C to equip the cleaning spray. Right. <laughs> I don't think I was doing much. Okay. So this one as well? Okay, just a few clicks and it's done. The we are people you talk about those Fs on your report card. Well, whenever you want to, because you're just going to magically appear in front of me, aren't you? Man, right, let's do this one as well. Okay. Um, right, let's go upstairs. Let's see if we can get all the dirt off the walls first, and then maybe we can turn all the lights off, yeah? And maybe I can get that gold star. Alright. It's been a weird game so far, but I am enjoying it. Oh, man. Look at this. There you go. Anything else? Oh, of course there is. Okay, there's two. All right, are we done? Is there one more? Uh, well, let's go and check the board, I suppose, shall we? Okay, I've cleaned all the dirt off the wall, so I guess I can put this away. Now I need to turn the lights off. Right. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Over here? Who installs a light switch here? <laughs> That's a very good question. Whoa! Okay, right. Is it safe? We've got the teen's note down here. Hey, Mum. I don't know if you remember, but I mentioned going to that party this weekend. Can you drive me that day? Oh, and can we give this girl from my class a ride, too? Please? I don't know if that ever happened. Hmm. Okay. In here as well. Okay. Through here. And of course there's another light on. Through here. Okay. There's a post-it. What is that that I'm hearing? Is that a Sally that's outside that might be trying to get in? I mean, she she knows that I'm in here, right? What we got here, though? Would it kill you to put the toilet seat down when you're done? You know I hate it when you leave it up. Can I do that? There you go. <laughs> uh, so there's obviously one over here as well. Where's the switch? There it is. Okay. And I guess there's two lights to turn off upstairs. Okay. What we got down here, then? Oh, We're loading? What the...? Okay... You had a, an interesting extension to the basement, it seems. 107. That's the house I just came from, right? What the hell's this? Wow, okay. It goes on for a long, long time as well. What on earth? Okay. It's more like a bunker than a basement. Again, are we sure this isn't House Flipper? Alright, well, it looks like there's something over there. Wait, there's a corridor this way as well? Right, hang on. Quarantine? Wait, did I? I think I just saw something. I'm not sure though. Quarantine, no entry, no removal, authorized personnel only. There's a door there. Oh, 117! 
Oh, that's the place that I'm trying to get to, right? Well, this isn't the barrier that they were talking about, presumably. But maybe this is a, a sneaky way up? What the fuck? Does this connect all the houses? Let's go through here. Right, I'm, I'm going to ignore that sign. I might die, but <laughs> we'll see. Alright, let's save. There's a media player there as well. Let's listen to the recording. Starting tape one, I've been assigned to the last shift of surveillance for North Hollow Heights before Aegis conducts their experiment. They don't trust me not to tell me exact date, but I'm sure it's only a few weeks or months away. Until then, I'm under orders to stay in the area beneath the neighborhood to observe its inhabitants and record anything noteworthy. Oh, uh, more on that experiment in the next tape. And whereabouts is the next tape? Somewhere else down here? Oh boy. Oh, look at all these body bags. All the previous residents, I suppose, killed after they experienced enough agony and pain for ages. Holy shit! This is dark! <laughs> Alright, okay, there's there's gotta be a, a tape two around here somewhere, right? If it's not in this room, it's probably around here, down in the bunker, right? Um, okay, let's go this way, maybe. I think I did see someone run off down here. Maybe it was a Sally? I'm not sure. Over here? Alright. Okay, looks like we got two ways to go here. Which way is it going to be? This way. They look like storerooms, but maybe... The tapes are stored here? That's what I'm hoping. Anything? Oh, actually, yep, there is one here. Starting tape four. Ah. After the Lake Ridge incident, I transferred departments so I never had to harm someone again. I would have left Aegis if I had the chance, but I knew it was suicide. After seeing and doing what I had, Aegis would never let me go. Plus, my involvement in Lake Ridge was the perfect blackmail. If I attempted to blow the whistle on these scumbags, they destroy my reputation and credibility. Afterwards, I die via suicide from two gunshot wounds to the back of the head. <laughs> no, mm. no. It's better to wait for my chance, my opportunity. Right. Maybe that's the fate that awaits me as well. I wouldn't put it past them at this point, based on what I've already read about what they're doing. Holy shit. Right, okay, uh, so we're going over here now? So, let's take a look. Oh, hello! Was it you that ran off really quickly earlier? s and Hmm. Okay, we got a button here, I think. Yeah! Ooh. I don't know if I want that on or not. Let's maybe leave that until I know what it does. Do you have any idea? <laughs> okay. Still looking for more tapes. Instead, I think I found another switch, another button. This one is a different color though, right. Okay. Would that be four, three, two, one? This is an order? The color order? Could be. Well, there's number five by the looks of it. Alright, alright, I, I think I'm just looking for maybe two more buttons. Well, there's the green one, okay. And there's the yellow. Okay, so hang on. If I was going left to right, what was the order? Blue, yellow, green. Okay, so... Blue... Uh... Yellow... <laughs> Hello! <laughs> the Sallys just have a habit of doing that, don't they? Green... And then it's the purple, the magenta, and then the red. Okay. This one here? Oh, wow, look at this. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Ah, right, there is another one. Hang on. Starting tape two. Okay, so, the experiment. The head honchos at Aegis thought the results from Lake Ridge Prison and Bravewood Academy got to thinking. Now, Lake Ridge and Bravewood were both done over years of poking and prodding. What if we tried to do what they did on one night? So, 
the people behind A has got together and created a neighborhood where a number of hand-picked families would live together and become closely knit. After enough years have passed, Aegis will slaughter the whole community in a single day so that they can begin their next phase of testing on the buffer created. Assuming one's created anyways. Well, it seems like their plan worked. More than one was created. Copies of one were created. Bravewood Academy. I think that's where Test of Courage took place. I, I, I wasn't expecting to, to have this game be in a connected universe. Oh, wow. Oh, there you go. There's the neighborhood. And yeah, you can see it's all walled off. Right. Jeez. Okay, yeah, let's save. What we got on the computer? Get code? 5192. Storage. Wipe drive. Wipe drive. Oh. Wait, isn't that what Aegis want me to do, though? I'm kind of against them, just fundamentally, so maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe that's going to wipe away evidence of what they've done. So I'm not going to do that. But 5192, I don't know what that's for, but I'm going to make a note of that. 5192, okay. Oh, this is brilliant. Really, this is brilliant. I'm really, really enjoying this. Okay, so what's through here? Living quarters, essentially? And another one. Look at this. Starting tape three. I was only a junior researcher during the Lake Ridge prison experiments, but that doesn't excuse the blood on my hands. The torture, psychological and physical, done at those poor inmates haunts my dreams even today. We've inflicted the worst suffering any of us could imagine to the prisoners in an attempt to summon a buffer. And... We succeeded. Unfortunately, we were too good on our job. A whole host of the creatures were unleashed on the prison, not to mention the nearby town. Most of the town people were killed in the chaos, and a few who managed to survive found they no longer had a home to return to. Some powerful people covered it up, creating Aegis to fix their mess, and the rest is history. Well, there you go. All right. Are there any more tapes, I wonder? Found four of them now. Is there a fifth? Oh, this is great. I was not expecting this backstory and all this... All this strange shit to be happening around this neighborhood. I thought it was just gonna, you know, we're gonna go in, experience some ghostly goings on, but no, it's it's much more in-depth than that. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna save, I don't know, maybe, maybe I will wipe that, maybe I won't. Let's see, let's see. What's through here? Okay, for the door. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> I don't know if the Sallies are all that scary a lot of the time, but man, they are startling. Holy shit. Right. Okay, around here it looks like we've got access to 111, which is where? On the east side of the neighborhood. Right, okay. Well, I suppose, if nothing else, I could use this facility as a bit of a shortcut to avoid the sallies that are upstairs. But this area is huge. So if I go round here... I mean, I, I went to those those two rooms down here, didn't I? What's beyond that? What's down here? What are we going to find now? <laughs> okay, there's a door. Ah, it's locked. Damn, maybe I can find the key. Alright, 102. Oh, that door in the basement! That's why I couldn't get it open, it was blocked, but look! Another tape! Starting tape 5. Opportunity has arrived. The experiment is set to take place next week. Aegis is moving its agent into position, and soon the whole neighborhood will be dead. I can't say if their tests will work or not. Maybe it'll all be for nothing and no buffer will be born. Maybe that'd be for the best. I can't say, however, that I won't let them all die. The family in house 113. I'm going to give them a warning. Nothing too overt, just enough to get them out of town until all is said and done. After that, I'm out of here. By the time Aegis realizes what I've done, I'll be long gone. I don't know if anyone's going to listen to these tapes, but if you do, please, defy them. In any way you can, don't let the Aegis get their way without a fight. Alright, well, I'm going to do my best, I suppose. 
Feels like I'm a little bit too late to the party because the damage is already done, but I suppose I can help with their spirits, if nothing else, right? Man. Okay, right. Uh, so, I mean, what do we want to do now? Do we want to keep exploring this area? Have I, have I seen everything down here? I think it's taken a long time, but I think I've seen everything down here. Everything I've got access to, I've had a look at. Maybe let's go back to 107, because we're still not done with that house, right? And I suppose I still want to get through the mission to an extent. <laughs> Alright, here we go, 107. Let's get back up top, shall we? Alright, and we're back. So, what were we doing here again? <laughs> I can't remember, it feels like it was so long ago. I came down here just to explore, didn't I? That's right. Okay. Oh, it's turning the lights off. The lights off. Right. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, these ones? And I guess there's going to be one in here as well. That's right. Here. There you go. All right. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't. Thank you. You're growing into such a good young man. I'm proud of you. Aww. Thanks very much. And there you go, yeah, another gold star. Just for me. Okay, well let's run across the road to 110, shall we? Is it safe to do so? Seems like it. Okay, I see something in there. Oh. Oh, that's another star by the looks of it. I guess this is one we need to be in. Okay, we're chipping in. Dishes away, toys away, and the boxes away in the attic. Okay, let's get that door closed just in case uh, one of the rogue Sallies decides to run in and try and kill me. Okay, well, there's one of the toys. This is great. I'm really, really liking this game. What a pleasant surprise. Right, looks like we got another agent report here. Those bastards. We knew this set of targets would be the most difficult to handle, so we prepared accordingly. After waiting for both families to settle down for the night, our agents silently broke into the home and got into position near each bedroom. One agent was dispatched to each of the children's rooms, while two were sent to both of the parents' rooms. On my signal, every bedroom in the house was stormed and their occupants captured. From there, we neutralized every target according to the operation's instructions. The children first, the elder Simpsons next, and the Scott mother last. Our group then split into two teams and each hurried towards their next objective. Bastards. Seriously. Like, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't even be doing this, right? Do I want the gold stars? Do I want to actually do what Aegis want me to do? Ugh. I hate these guys. <laughs> but I love these toys. Right. Okay. Is that... Yeah, that's one of the dishes. Alright. Another toy. Another couple of toys, in fact. Alright, another toy. Another dish. What we got in here? The ensuite? Nothing? No? Not even down the toilet. Oh, jeez. I'm not Todd. I'm Jay, I think. And could you please stop doing that? My god, okay. Another dish. Alright. And there's another one in here. And another toy. Alright. Get out! Ooh, okay, alright. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Right, here's the attic. This is where we should bring all these boxes. So, right, let's take this one up first. Uh, and where exactly are we putting it? Over here? Maybe down here with the other green ones? There you go. Right, so there's the white one, the orange one, the blue one. Any dishes? Any toys? Oh, I see a dish. There you go. One there as well. No toys on the bunk bed? Can't believe it. But there's the toy box. Okay. Task completed. I found all the toys. Right, okay. Uh, have I found all the dishes as well? Maybe. Maybe. Right, let's get these boxes back up, shall we? There we go. 
All right, I, I think that's us pretty much done. I think I just need to return those dishes back to the kitchen. So let's see. Down here? Brilliant, there you go. All right. The gold star. No appearance from Sally? Ah. Good job. How will we get some ice cream for school tomorrow? Yeah, let's do that. And then maybe I can apologize for the company that I work for brutally murdering your entire family. And everyone else's as well. Bloody hell. Okay, so that's another one. Yep, okay, let's move over to 112. <laughs> All right, 112 now. Okay, well, there's something to do over there. Again, let's just close the door just in case. Oh, another report. This is just going to make me hate them more, isn't it? We had a complication during the operation regarding House 112 and its targets. One of our agents, Agent Nguyen, committed treason when we were preparing to execute the targets. He turned his weapon on his fellow agents in an attempt to save their lives. Unfortunately, we were forced to kill him due to the risk of him wounding one of our men. Targets were then put to death using the black box method. <laughs> the redacted method. I'll have a more detailed report submitted tomorrow. An additional note. I'll have to put in a requisition for new uniforms for the squad tomorrow. I don't think we'll get the bloodstains out of these ones. Field Agent Glover there. Right. Let's save again, why not? I'm still wondering if I uh, should wipe the hard drive or not. I want to expose them, right? So... Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it around. Nothing here, no. Oh, there you go, another restless spirit. And who are you? Lady Janice, okay. Which kind are you? Sorry? Which kind of Aegis agent are you? One of those slimy murderers, or are you one of the good ones? When it was my turn to die, one Aegis agent stood up for me. You know what Aegis does to traitors? Execution. Another pointless death that night. <sighs> well, I'd like to think that I'm one of the good ones. I'm trying to help. A little too late for help. Everyone's already dead. Good point. I know. Helping you now won't save your life, but it might make death more bearable. We'll see about that. Honestly, I never felt at home in this house. There was always something missing. I might have an idea if you do want to help me. Lay it on me. Go on. <laughs> we never finished unpacking after we moved here last year. I kept putting it off, leaving it for the next week or the next week and so on. You never know which excuse will be your last one. There are some boxes upstairs. Can you put the stuff inside them on the shelf with the bull statuette? Make this house into the home it never was. Will do. It's the least I could do. Over here. Oh, there's the bull. Right. Okay. Alright. That seems like a, a fairly easy task. I, oh, hello. You just want to keep your eye on me, don't you? And I think, to be honest, you want to keep your eye on me in all these places that I shouldn't really be going for the mission, all these sort of optional areas, I think that's where she shows up. That's the vibe that I'm getting anyway. Okay, nothing to look at down here, so we're going upstairs. Let's see if we can find this stuff. Uh, this way. Okay. Uh, we got some boxes, could be in here. Ah, here we go. Yeah, that's right, the glass bottles. Okay. Alright, delicately, delicately. Let's not smash them. Ah, <laughs> uh, right, okay, if you could maybe move, standing there really isn't the best idea right now. Down there, is it? Oh no, up there, sorry. Okay, three more to go. You wanna help? No? <laughs> I mean, she's not hostile, but she's still not very helpful. All right. So what else have we got up here? Any more notes? Any more reason to hate Aegis? I don't think I need another reason at this point. Ah, there you go, some more origami. It's been a while. Right. Okay, well, I think there's just one more bottle to put on the shelf, and then we're done. <laughs> oh, shit. Right. Yeah, the, uh, the other Sallies want to get in. Thankfully, it seems they can't. They don't want to actually follow me into these houses, thankfully. Okay. Really? Do you have to stand there? <laughs> Alright, so the fourth and the final one. There you go. I think that's everything, right? So, are you at peace? 
beautiful. That seems so. Well, there you go. Another job well done. And finally, you move. Better late than never, right? Okay. Well, it looks like we're going to head to 114, then I suppose we're going to hit the east side of the neighbourhood. This is going to be a long video, I think. I think I'm going to try and do it in one video, though. Could probably make it a small series, but, uh... Nah, let's get it all done in one, shall we? Oh boy, oh boy. She's right fucking behind me. Oh, and she's brought a friend. Fantastic. Okay, 106. Please let this be open. Come on, come on. Uh, ooh, uh. Oh boy. Yeah, for whatever reason, they can't go up the stairs. They can't cross that threshold. Whew. Goodbye, ladies. Right, so, <laughs> again, we need to clean the walls, and we need to throw away beer bottles. Okay, I'm pretty well versed in that at this point. More spray? Yeah, why not? Okay. There you go. Put it in the trash can. Looks like we've got another agent report, so let's get mad, shall we? Both targets were dead asleep when we entered the house. Doubt we could have woken up if we wanted to. Hell, Agent Mouse stumbled into one of the bedroom doors and the target didn't even mumble in his sleep. Anyway, our job here is done. We're moving on to the next set of targets now. Here's hoping the rest of the night goes this smooth. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Anything in the fridge? Oh, wow. <laughs> well, apparently a shitload of chocolate ice cream. Holy cow. Exactly. <laughs> I quite like this game's sense of humour as well, and it certainly does have one. Right. Okay, let's get the rest of the mess cleaned up, shall we? Oh. Okay. Shall I follow that, Sally? I mean, this should be a non-hostile one, right? Sounds like she's taking a shower. What do we do here? We <laughs> Are we going to take a peek on a mannequin showering? Of course we are. Cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just couldn't resist. Let me just grab this beer bottle. Oh, man. There's another one there as well. Good stuff. More origami, too. Lovely. The roommate's letter. Let's take a look. Bro, I'm failing biology and philosophy this semester. You think that chick from Brad's party would be down to tutor me? Chloe something, I think it was? Anyway, if you get the chance, ask her for me, would you? I can't find my phone after our party last night. Also, try and see if she's single. <laughs> it sounds about right. Okay. Alright, well it looks like I found all the beer bottles, but there's one more wall I need to clean. Where? In there, maybe? I mean, I, I, <laughs> I was kind of kicked out, wasn't I? No? I don't think so. Uh, well, it wasn't upstairs. Ah, there it is, there it is. Right, okay, so that's everything done. So let's go claim another gold star. Good stuff. Well, it's a step in the right direction. Okay, all right. So from here, I suppose we should probably go to 108, shouldn't we? If it's safe to do so, and it definitely isn't. Maybe let's just dart across the road instead. She's not going to notice? No? Fantastic. Okay, 111. Right. Ooh. Okay. Picnic item? It's about picnic items this time. Where, where's the board? Oh, okay, right. And there's the basket. So we just add them to the basket. Okay, so six more to find. That's a simple one. This is going to be an easy gold star, right? <laughs> ah. There's one. And there's a report. Targets were watching a movie in their living room when we entered the home. We were caught off guard by their quick reactions, with Target Beta nearly escaping the perimeter of the house. Fortunately, one of our agents was on standby and managed to intercept the Target before he escaped. Meanwhile, Target Alpha struggled, but Agent Johnson maintained control of the situation, and soon, both Alpha and Beta were drowned in the bathroom. Beta's phobia of water might have made it more difficult for lesser agents, but we had no trouble. Field Agent Callahan. Right, all these names that I'm seeing are going on my personal hit list. 
Alright, so let's add these. Okay, three more. Down to the basement. Wait, what? This is a uh, hundred and... A hundred and eleven. Right. I think this also had access, didn't it? So I'm gonna find one of those doors down here, I believe. Somewhere. There it is. Yeah, that could take me down to that underground facility where the neighborhood was being monitored. More origami. Wonderful. Nothing down there. No? Okay. You don't? No. I really feel sorry for these people. And to be honest, to an extent, I'm feeling sorry for Sally. Because, uh, you know, she's being demonized here and I don't think she's actually all that bad. Right. Okay, I think I found everything we need for the picnic. So let's just add that to the basket. And let's claim that gold star. Oh, have you finished getting ready? Come on, let's go. Spot for watching the sunset. Maybe they'll even have fireworks tonight. Maybe. Maybe. It's a shame they never got to that picnic, right? Okay. So I've been over there. Uh, that one next, maybe? Right, okay. Well, dealer's choice. Uh, this one. This one's closer. So it looks like we're going to 109 now. Okay. And this one is home to a restless spirit. So, what would you like me to do? Come to finish the job, have you? Uh, to be honest, I think the job's already been finished. Not all Aegis agents are out to get you. No, not all of them. But even one is too many for my liking. What have you come here for, then? Well, I'm trying to ease the suffering done in this neighborhood. And doing a shit job of it, huh? Oh, pretty much, yeah. <sighs> Maybe I'm being too harsh on you. You do look like you're trying to do some good here. If you really do mean it, I might have something I'd like done. Anything. My cousin was was in an accident not too long ago, and my family is asking for some money to be sent to help out. Since I can't spend money anymore, can you find and gather up all the cash around the house? You'll need to put it in the box on the table, then leave it in the mailbox after. Help lessen the pain in the world. Help my family. I'm on it. On it like a car bonnet, right. Hello. And it's you again. You're just here to watch me do good deeds, aren't you? Yeah, that's that's what I'm going with, anyway. Okay, so we're looking for money. A package? Oh, this is this is where I put the money, right. So let's have a look at the letter. Roberto, your dad called a few minutes ago asking if you can send more money this month. Manuel was struck by a moped crossing the road and had to be rushed to the hospital. His bills were pretty expensive, and the family's hoping we'll help them cover it. Sorry, I didn't wait until you got home to tell you, but those sleeping pills are finally hitting me. Right, okay, so... Don Roberto, where is your cash? Well, that's origami. That is cash. Okay. Hello. <laughs> uh, so that goes in. How much money have you got, Don? Um, oh boy. I'm getting the feeling that I'm being watched. Probably because I'm being watched. Alright. More money? Right by one of the few windows where I'm not getting perved at. More over here as well? Okay. Just bundles of cash. Why? Some more down here as well? Okay. No money in the toilet? No? Oh, let's check. No. <laughs> Maybe in one of these houses I'll find something down the toilet. I don't know. Right, have I have I found everything? Let's see. Uh, I think so. Yeah, I can pick this up now. So I should put this inside the mailbox. Right. Uh, can I... Right, I'm going to have to drop this, I'm afraid. Hopefully the money didn't come out. Okay. Seems fairly safe right now, so... There you go. Right! I did it! I hope it'll lessen the blow. Oh, me too. Me too. Oh. You're very welcome. <laughs> okay, right. Straight across the road to... What is this? A hundred and... A hundred and eight. That's right. Okay, so... 
What's this one? Is this essential? Non-essential? I don't see a gold star. Uh, feels like I've been in this house before, but maybe it's just like the same template for it. Okay. Oh, right, okay, another restless spirit. Brother Sven? What the hell? Who are you? What are you doing in my home? Well, uh, I'm just looking for ways to make up for what happened. You can't make up for what happened. They killed us all. Everyone in the neighborhood. Even the pets. My poor dogs. Okay, I might not be able to fix it all, but I might be able to help you move on. Move on, huh? There might be something I never got to do. Tell me, and I'll do my best to make it happen. Okay, there's a woman who lives, or, well, lived, I guess, in House 105. Her name's Ava, and I'm absolutely in love with her. I even wrote her a letter, but I was too chicken shit to ever give it to her. If you could deliver this letter to her mailbox, it'll mean a lot to me. I'll see what I can do. Oh, we dealt with Ava earlier, didn't we? Huh, okay. <laughs> and this is the letter? Alright, 105. So that's the other... Yeah, that's the other side of the neighborhood. But I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. Um, so is that everything that I need to do here? Let's just give the house a once-over. You never know. Alright. Just looking for more, uh, letters and stuff like that. Maybe some more origami. I don't know. But I like searching through these houses. Each one has felt, like, pretty different and personal as well. And I know there's quite a few reused assets and stuff like that, but... Yeah, I, I, I love the interior decoration of these places. Let's see. Intel on this house failed to mention the presence of pets inside. Two dogs alerted the target, nearly allowing him to call the police. We had to deviate from the intended execution reserved for the target in order to salvage the operation. Both animals were eliminated with gunfire during entry into the house. We were able to use their remains to disturb Mr. Cunningham enough to satisfy me before his death. I suggest that next time, targets are thoroughly investigated and documented to allow for proper planning. Yes. But there's not going to be a next time, is there? Hmm, well there you go. More origami. Okay. Right. Now, I think might be my chance to nip over to 105. Okay, I haven't been seen. So far, so good. So it's this one here, yeah? Awesome, brilliant. Okay, so are we done? Uh, I might need to go back and tell him that I've done it. All right, well, that shouldn't be too difficult. Famous last words. Right, let's dart across the road because she's definitely gonna be a problem. Let me in, please. Right, okay. Uh, Mr. Cunningham, was it? Brother Sven? It'll probably never reach her, but it's still enough for me. Ah, well, there you go. Okay, so, well, there's four more to do, and then, of course, we need to go to 117. Just need to make sure I get rid of that barrier, right? Yeah, we're doing some good work here. It's just maybe not the work that Aegis had planned for me. Right, let's do this one round here. I'm being chased, but hopefully this door is unlocked. Right? Fingers crossed. Come on, come on. Okay. Ooh, shit. Okay. Okay, so again, we need to clean the walls and collect and place the checkers pieces. Right. Could you go away, please? Thank you very much. Okay, so six and eight. All right. Uh, well, let's see. Cleaning spray and an agent report. Let's have a look at this report. Unfortunately, the targets within this home were faced with a family emergency and have been out of town for over a week. While this may have lessened the amount of targets tonight, thus making the jobs of our agents easier, it does mean that our odds of success overall in the goal of this operation have been diminished. We can only hope no more complications arise. Hmm. Lucky them getting out of dodge while they still could, right? Okay, so we're looking for more of those checkers pieces. Let's look for all of those, then let's clear up the place, shall we? So I need to put them back on the checkerboard, I see. All right. Something in here? Uh, yes, actually. There you go. I think she'd be like your sister. She wasn't such a pain in the ass growing up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jeez. <laughs> 
I'm just trying to help. Traitor's note. Your lives are in danger. Get out of town while you still can. Oh, that guy who created the tapes mentioned that he he told someone. Was it was it House 113? That also looks a lot like what I saw in my garage, right? So he was the one that told me to join the company as well. Oh, hello. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> well, hey, at least we've got some areas to clean. Oh, all right. Um, yeah, should the spray be doing that? I, I don't know, maybe I need a new spray. Let's see, is it gonna get rid of this? <laughs> oh, gee. Gotcha. Yeah, you did. <laughs> They're just playful for the most part, the Sallies. Until they want to hunt you down and kill you. Okay, just one more wall to clean, and I believe it's here. That's right. There you go. Don't worry. It's never going to happen again, trust me. There you go, another gold star. Brilliant. Okay, so uh, let's take this opportunity to slip across the road to the next house, shall we? Okay, so 114. Is this non-essential? Hmm. What we got in here? Uh, well, I don't think I'm going to get a star here. But I am going to meet old man Bert. Hello. Another Aegis dog, are you? Well, yeah, I'm with Aegis, but I'm no dog. What's your problem? I'm dead. Take a guess. <laughs> okay, fair point. How's that uh, going for you? How do you think? The worst part about being dead is that I can't turn on my record player. How am I supposed to relax without some music while I read? Well, I might not be able to help with the being dead thing, but I could turn on your record player for you. Would you? I thought I was going to go crazy sitting here doing nothing and not even listening to some music. If you could turn my record player on and enjoy some tunes with me, I might have some peace after all. Okay. it's the least I could do. I just need to find the record player, I suppose. Oh, there it is. Right. <laughs> Alright. Phew! <laughs> well, he seems to be enjoying it. Alright. Well, as he boogies, I'm going to explore. Let's have a little look. <laughs> this is such a strange game, but man, am I enjoying it. You know when a game just subverts your expectations for the better? Yeah, this is one of those times. Okay. Oh. What was that? I heard something. Maybe outside, I don't know. Another origami piece? And another report. Bert Owens was wide awake when we breached the door to his home. He begged for his life, pleaded for more time to spend with his family. Still, we committed ourselves to Aegis for a reason. One old man past his prime wasn't enough to stop what we had planned tonight. I know I'll hear his screams in my dreams tonight, and looking at the faces of my fellow agents, I know they will too. <sighs> right. And it sounds like the music stopped. So... Did he enjoy that? Let's go see. You're not so bad for an Aegis dog. Thanks very much. <laughs> I'll take compliments whenever I can get them. Okay, just two more to go, 116 and 115, and then we can go to the one at the end of the road, 117. All right. Uh, are you going to be a problem? All right, you're heading that way. Maybe I should head this way. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> no, no. Okay, does this place have a back door, Bert? Oh, he's gone. Um, well, it's got a window. But unfortunately, I can't climb out. There you go. That's 117. It's like a mansion. Wow. Well, we'll be heading there shortly. First things first, 116. Let's go inside. There's a gold star. Before you walk with your friends tonight, can you get some things done around the house? Mm hmm. I'd like you to bring Jesse's toy back to her crib, and can you gather all the newspapers and bring them to the dining room, too? 
Oh, and while you're here, Grant forgot where he set his rifle. Rifle? Can you find him and put it back in the attic? Thanks, sweetie. Okay, anything else? But a rifle, interesting. Chances are I can't use it, because I couldn't use the, uh, the scumbag's katana from earlier, right? Okay, so, stuffed animal, old rifle, and five newspapers, then I get my gold star. Oh, there's a newspaper, there you go. Good start. Alright, round here. There's always somewhere to save, it seems. I'm quite thankful for that. What we got here? A to-do list? Uh, sort of, yeah. Schedule for the year. Yeah. There's the stuffed animal. Right, newspaper? Okay, so I, I, I need to bring this to the crib? Yeah, where's the baby's crib? Is it down here or upstairs? I'm gonna say it's probably upstairs. Let's go take a look. Um... Up in the attic? That doesn't seem too likely to me, right? I'm just gonna drop you here. Uh, maybe. Maybe through here. This looks like it could be the master bedroom. Maybe the, the crib's somewhere here, or not too far away. Um... Oh, and there's the rifle as well. Right, okay. So, I put the rifle in the crib and the stuffed animal in the attic, right? Ah, here we go. Perfect. Okay, so whereabouts does it need to go? Is it... is it mounted somewhere? Maybe it's in a box. I don't know. Oh, here we are. Oh, yeah, there's a little stand for it. Okay, so I think it's just the newspapers. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. It's just so dark in here. Yeah, tell me about it. I have been startled by so many different variations of her that it's actually ridiculous. It keeps working as well. Why does it keep working? There you go. There's another newspaper. I think that might be all of them. <laughs> No, sorry, sorry. I wasn't really looking for them, but uh, if I stumble into them, I'll let you know, okay? <sighs> See, it happened again. Startled again for the 60th time. <sighs> okay, uh, so... Newspapers? Where do they go exactly? The dining table. Over here? That's absolutely everything, so give me my gold star. Thank you. Yeah, tell me about it. Alright. Just one more house to visit, and it's right across the street. Okay, I'm going for it. Yeah, that's a big one at the end, isn't it? Wow, okay. Saving the best till last, maybe. 115 now. Okay. So, what's it gonna be this time? It's gonna be a spirit. Okay. Madame Muriel. Hello, dear. I'd offer you some tea, but I'm a little occupied at the moment. Occupied? I'm being dead, probably. <laughs> yes, occupied. I'm trying to call my grandson. I should be able to enter house 117. Right, yeah. I, I, sh I suppose I should just sort of play along with uh, Aegis, shouldn't I? But, um, first things first, let's, let's deal with her. Uh, well... Sorry to bother you then, ma'am. Oh, it's no problem at all, sweetie. Actually, if you have a moment, could you do this old soul a favour? Yeah, why not? Of course not. What do you need? I'm fine to get a challenge to pick up the phone to call my grandson, Elijah. Would you mind calling him for me? Just tell him I'm alright and that I love him. Got it. Yeah, she doesn't even realise she's dead by the sounds of it. Okay, uh, so... Where is the phone? <laughs> Through here? Definitely not, no. Right, let's close that up. In here, this is probably going to be a bathroom. Yeah, okay. I've been through enough of these houses to kind of know the layout at this point. Ah, here we go. Right. Nana, it's pretty late for you to be calling. Are you Elijah? Yes. Who is this? Where's my Nana? Is she okay? Not really. Uh, she's fine. She wanted me to tell you that she's doing great and that she loves you. Oh, okay. Tell her I love her too. Oh, and could you pass it on to her that the vacation's been moved to the 14th? Thank you. Will do. Sure thing. This decision will have consequences, apparently. Um, 
Well, I'm just going to help her out, like I've been helping everyone out. Thank you, she says. And there you go. Look at all those ticks. Okay. Well, as the Aegis agent said, I can go into 117 now. Let's save. All right. Is it safe? It seems safe. Okay, so there's a barrier here? I don't see a barrier anymore. Okay. I can't go through the gate though, can I? Oh, what's this? Alright. Oh! This is where I put my stars! Ah ha ha ha! I see, I see. God, this is a weird game. Okay. What about the front door? Is that unlocked? It seems to be. Oh, hello. <laughs> Alright. Well, this is where I think I'm meant to eliminate Sally, right? Let's just have a little look around before I get to any of that. It's been a long time coming, getting to this place. I want to explore it fully, like I've done with every other house. Okay. Something around here? Is that just the back door? I think so. Okay. Oh, massive greenhouse. It's alright for some, isn't it? Sort of play area there as well. Patio, gazebo. Oh, wonderful. Oh. Alright. Yeah. 117 also had bunker access. Ah, okay. So we're going to be on the other side of the door. Oh. Oh, look at this. Here we are again. Maybe I can find another tape. Alright. Oh, what's that? A solution. Solution to what? The button order to the main room is blue, yellow, green, pink, red. Okay. The button combination from earlier? Or is it for something else? It sounds like it could be the same combination, to be honest, but maybe it's for something else. Anything else? Let's see. Mm, no, I don't think so. Oh, and there's that door, I bet, right? That's going to take me back to the corridor. Yes, that's right, okay. Yeah, it's the same combination. The solution is just the colours left to right, which I already figured out, so... Okay, that's just a helping hand to get you through the door, I suppose, and to discover a little bit more about this place. Okay, well, let's go back to House 117. There's still a lot more to explore. Okay. Is that another access outside? Like a side door? Oh, hello. Right. <laughs> How you doing? You're one of the non-hostile ones, right? Yeah, good, good. Okay, nice garage area as well. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, well, I did see another Sally upstairs. Ooh. <laughs> and there's yet another one, right. Is the gang all here? Maybe. Feels like all the ones that I've interacted with previously in the other houses might make an appearance, you know? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Hello again. <laughs> okay. And she's gone. Right. Well, it seems like I probably want to go upstairs. Isn't that right, Sally? Okay, another bedroom. Is this going to be an ensuite? Yep. Alright. Around the corner. Is that origami? It is. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, okay. You haven't popped up in a while. I just wasn't ready for that. I thought you were the nice ones. <laughs> Hey again. Off you pop. Right, okay. Looks like we're going up. Okay. Uh, we've got another spirit here. And this is... Oh. This is Mum. Jay? Oh, Jay, is that you? Who are you? Jay, it's me, your mother. It's been so long. How have you been doing, honey? Uh, uh, I've been... 
I've been looking for you, Mum. Where were you? Did Aegis take you? They kidnapped me after work one day. Said they needed me for some greater purpose than my life. I've been held in this house for years. There was a caretaker to look after me, and everything I ever needed was given to me. But they never let me meet you or talk to you. How did you find me? Well, a year ago I found a letter in my mailbox with no address or name on it. The letter told me to join Aegis and earn their trust. Eventually, something called the Hollow Heights Experiment would take place, and I should volunteer if I wanted to see you again. So you work with these... monsters? I don't know how you managed it. I think I remember them saying something about how my prior experience with buffers might alter the experiment's results, but when they noticed I was listening, they stopped talking. They wanted me to connect with the other people in the neighborhood and get close to them. I, I can't believe I found you! Did Aegis... Did they kill you? Yes, of course they did. But I wasn't the only one. Everyone in the neighborhood, every family, even the kids. They killed them all, Jay. I was the last one. I know about the others. I hope some of them move on. Only some of them? Oh, I knew you were a good man. I'm so proud of you. What about the creature? The buffer that was created from us? Aegis wants me to destroy it. They gathered their data and now they want the evidence gone. Should it really be destroyed? It didn't ask to be born into this world, especially not from our pain. But there might be another way. Aegis has hidden a controller to suppress buffers inside the house. With all of the other spirits' help, I can reveal it to you. With it, you can find another way out of here. There's just one more spirit that needs your help, Jay. It's me, honey. I'm ready to move on. I just need one thing from you, that's all. Tell me you love me. I... I love you, Mum. I love you too. And she's gone. Wow! Not exactly the reunion that I was expecting. But in a game like this, I mean, yeah, of course she was dead. Whew. Right. So, that's Sally. That's the actual buffer. The original one. What have we got here? A reminder. In case of forgotten code, it may be found in the underground main computer. Possible entrances... Uh, yeah, that's right. You can access them from those houses. Check downstairs. Again, just a helping hand if you haven't got down there yet. But yeah, you know me. I like to explore, so I found that pretty quick. Right. Uh, so... We've got a lever over here, by the looks of it? What's this? Not really sure. Hello. You're the original, are you? So you finally arrived. I have. Sally, I found you. Sally. No. Sally isn't what I'm called back home. Just call me whatever suits you best. Now that you've made it here, you can set me free from this place. I could, yes, and maybe I will. Why didn't you have your other versions of yourself free you, though? I strolled right in after getting those gold stars. My other forms couldn't free me from here because of some protections placed by the captors. You would have been able to stroll in and destroy me immediately if I wished. So I constructed a bear around the gate to slow you down. I wanted you to bear witness to Aegis's actions. Okay. But... Why? I hope seeing what they've done yourself would turn you against them. Or at least leave you open to other options. My captors are nothing but cowards and murderers. If you destroy me, they'll face the consequences for what they've done here. Right. Okay, so other options. What option do I have but to destroy you? You're a monster! What have I done to be called a monster? I've never harmed anyone. Never killed anyone. The only actions I've taken against you were to protect myself. Well, what about those ones roaming the streets? I was just hoping to say hello to them, but they came after me and tried to kill me. And still, you're a buffer. That alone is enough for me to destroy you. Buffers aren't inherently evil. We were forced to take on personality traits from humanity. We can't be blamed for the darkness hiding in your hearts. Even your Lake Ridge incident wasn't the fault of the buffers there. 
Human scientists experimented on human subjects. Right. Subjects known to have violent tendencies. Hmm. So, what are you trying to say? The buffers at Lake Ridge were purposely created to be violent. The experimenters were trying to force us to kill and harm. Their experiment was too successful for them in the end. And most everyone in the town of Lake Ridge and the prison where the experiments took place died. Hmm. How do you even know about Lake Ridge? I thought you were created here, in North Hollow Heights. I was created here, but every one of us is connected to one another. If we want, we can share knowledge and experiences through that connection. Alright. I wasn't able to reach our ship memories until you revealed the controller. You must have weakened its power when you did. There were so many things I'd forgotten. I can still only scratch the surface of our memories with it active. Hmm. The controller? Is that what's keeping you locked here? My mission briefing didn't mention anything about a controller. The controller is dampening my connection to my powers. If you disable it, I can leave this place alive. I can even take you somewhere safe. No matter what you do here, it just won't let you roll around for you know for long. Hmm. I can feel it faintly. They mean to kill you after you fulfill your duty. I believe you. Please, let me go. I don't want to die. Okay, well, there's multiple endings here, and I think this is probably where we choose them. Okay, so there's only one way I walk away from this all alive, huh? Okay, I'll disable the controller, or what you want doesn't matter. Aegis has asked me to destroy you, and I plan to. I'm not going to choose that. I might later, but that's not the ending that I actually want. I'm going to disable the controller. Somehow. Okay, so it's connected to that, which is connected to this switch. Which I, I can't seem to do anything with. Um, there's a security panel over here. Oh, right! Uh, I wrote it down. There was that four-digit code on the basement computer. 5192, is that it? Open! That's it! Ah, the force field's gone. And this is the signal controller. Right, so I can, I can turn it off. And I think that's going to set her free. Let's do that. Thank you. I'll meet you outside. Okay. Hopefully I don't regret this. But I don't think I will. Right. Okay, so... Outside! Yeah, let's go. I suppose if I want the other ending, I could probably just go back to that save. And I might do that after this is all said and done. <laughs> okay. What do we got here? Ah, look at them all, bowing before me. So, where exactly does that go? No words, eh? You just walk right in. You want me to follow you? Well, Test of Courage had a slightly different ending. I don't remember going into any weird portals, but... Well, when in Rome. Okay. Report Operation Covert Genesis. The operation is a complete failure. The buffer, Sally, has escaped. Taking the agent assigned to destroy it, too. From what we can gather, Agent J disabled the controller somehow, restoring the buffer's connection to its powers. From there, it opened a and the two left through it. Worse, we lost all the data from the experiment. We had a traitor within Aegis. One, Dr. F***. You might remember from the Lake Ridge prison experiments. It appears that he managed to access our data center and delete anything related to the experiment. He then destroyed any backups on site. The traitor must have had backup, because all of the backups hidden were also destroyed simultaneously. He was executed, of course. This is going to set us back years in our plan, sir. I'll keep you updated on the situation. Commander... First chair... Branch. Sounds like we did a great job. And I got the true ending there! Three of three! And there you go, that was Born Into Fear, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video. 
But yeah, did you enjoy this game? Because I really did enjoy this game. It certainly subverted my expectations. It wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be going in. I wasn't expecting, you know, the menial tasks that I was doing, all the tidying and the cleaning and all the note reading and stuff like that, but I really enjoyed it. And maybe I was expecting the game to be a little scarier, but what this game lacks in scares, it makes up for in startles, in my opinion. And I liked dealing with the different spirits, the different versions of Sally and how it's all tied together, finding the basement, finding the, the facility and the tapes and stuff like that, that was really fun. And I just wasn't expecting it, but you know, I'm glad it turned out this way. So yeah, I really enjoyed Born Into Fear. But we're not done yet, that was just one of the endings. I don't know if I can get the other two, but I can certainly get another one by choosing to kill Sally. So let's go back and do that. Use to kill Sally. Here we go. And away she goes, never to be seen again. Okay. Congratulations, Agent. Thanks to you, there's one less monster in the world. Come back to base. It's time to celebrate. Uh, okay. Right. And I suppose if you didn't do enough exploring and you didn't really realize what was going on, or maybe you're just a heartless bastard, yeah, you probably wanted this ending, right? You probably wanted to just follow along with the plan and, and, and kill the monster and be on your way. Uh, that's another variation of Sally, I think. Just crying. I'm sorry. Yeah, in this ending I'm being a heartless bastard. Anyway, I'm going home. <laughs> Alright, here we are, back at the sedan. And I can leave! So yeah, it looks like I can get out of here, I can survive, but I do wonder, for how long? Report on Operation Covert Genesis. Agent J has completed the tasks assigned to him dutifully. The buffer, Sally, has been destroyed as planned. With the data gathered from the experiment, we can move on to the next phase of our plan. Notify Mr. F***. The cover-up is working well so far, and we'll only need to bribe a few more hands to put this all behind us. We'll give Agent J a few months to roam free as a reward, but afterwards, dispatch the to bring him in. Right. We always need more subjects. Commander first chair of the Killed Sally, one of three. That's gotta be the bad ending, right? So, there's one in the middle. Okay, the streets are clear, it's looking good. I'm wondering if ending two could possibly be me just getting out of here. It's a question that I ask in every playthrough, but it's a question that I haven't asked in this one. Can I leave? Can I just get out of here? Can I forget about Sally, about my mum? Can we forget any of this ever happened? Can we just leave? We can! <laughs> We've run into a problem. The man given the task of destroying the buffer, Agent J, has turned tail and ran. His training instructors held high opinions of him and praised him well for his bravery. But it seems that in the true face of danger, he's a coward. Agent J will be considered a deserter and treated as such. We're prepping his replacement right now. I'll keep you updated on the situation, sir. Commander first chair of the branch. <laughs> oh, that was a secret ending! So that wasn't ending two? So I still don't know how to get ending two! If you know how to get ending two, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, alright? If you've got any theories, hints, tips, anything like that. For now, this is where I'm gonna leave Born Into Fear with those three endings. That was a fun game, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you back in another one very soon. See you then. And this is Sally too. That's an interesting look you got there, Sally. Oh, nice! Let's have a little look around. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! What a start! Okay. You oh, she... It... Alright. What's that? Nothing down there? No? Alright. Oh, jeez. Alright. Hey. Hang on. Sally! <laughs> I see you! s and M. It's a good album. I understand why you love it. Alright, this seems like a more hostile Sally. Not, you know, a mum that's gonna tell me off. I was planning on dumping his sorry ass in a few days, but now I'll never get the chance to. I mean, fuck, who owns a katana? <laughs> Shame I can't use that on the Sally's outside. 
Uh, Jesus Christ, speaking of which, hello again. Oh boy, oh shit, okay. <laughs> that was close. Right. Whoa, oh. Turn the lights off, clean dirt off the walls, more tidying up. What is this, house flipper? Who installs a light switch here? <laughs> That's a very good question. Whoa, okay, right. What we got down here then? Oh, we're loading? What the? Right, hang on, quarantine. Wait, did I? I think I just saw something. Yellow. Hello. <laughs> the Sallys just have a habit of doing that, don't they? <laughs> Alright. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, jeez. I'm not Todd. I'm Jay, I think. And could you please stop doing that? Yeah, let's do that. And then maybe I can apologize for the company that I work for brutally murdering your entire family. And everyone else's as well. Targets were then put to death using the black box method. <laughs> the redacted method. One more bottle to put on the shelf, and then we're done. <sighs> oh shit. Anything in the fridge? Oh wow. <laughs> well, apparently a shitload of chocolate ice cream. Holy cow. <laughs> are we going to take a peek on a mannequin showering? Of course we are. Cool. Come to finish the job, have you? Uh, to be honest, I think the job's already been finished. I'm getting the feeling that I'm being watched. Probably because I'm being watched. Could you go away, please? Thank you very much. Oh, hello. Oh, goodbye. Let's see, is it gonna get rid of this? <laughs> oh, gotcha. Yeah, you did. <laughs> What's your problem? I'm dead. Take a guess. <laughs> okay, fair point. Alright, you're heading that way. Maybe I should head this away. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Ooh, this is where I put my stars. <laughs> is that another access outside? Like a side door? Oh, hello. Is that origami? It is. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, okay. You haven't popped up in a while. And she's gone. Wow. Not exactly the reunion that I was expecting. Can we just leave? We can! 